Hello and welcome back to Berserker. And this is where we are going to be checking. Ah, technically I can't actually check out my units. Ah, never mind. Okay. I will show you what I've done with my units. Thank you to those of you that gave me all the <laughs> all the very important help in the comments. I really did need it because apparently I completely misunderstood as to what was actually going on with the weapon variations. But as you can quite clearly see here, a lot of my forces now have actual weapons equipped and actually proper ones this time. So not just, Everyone you know, random stuff in every single slot and then they have a 25% chance to pick out one thing that is basically gonna be completely useless to them in actual combat. And as a result, they are now somewhat more proficient. Or at least I can hope that that is going to be the case. As you can see right here, we seem to be doing a pretty decent job. And they are going to be running away now. I know that someone did mention that Chaos Tweaks, the one... Uh, it's basically like Banalo Tweaks, the one mod that I'm using. That does have a setting, apparently, that gives me the ability to disable units from running away due to low morale. Now, I looked through the options, and I don't seem to be able to find it, so I'm not entirely sure whether that's just me being stupid, which it probably is. I mean, let's face it, it's probably me. But I couldn't find it, so unfortunately we're still going to just have to put up with these bandits running away and so on and so forth, which is not that big a deal, because you can see here we're running into these guys, and everything seems to be going quite nicely. We seem to be, you know, leveling up quite well, and so on. Anyway, as you can see, I've also renamed a bunch of them. And they all have a little bit more identifying names, so to speak. So basically, we now have the bear line, and then we have the noble bear line. So if we need to find them in the encyclopedia, then it's obviously going to be a lot easier for me to do that. So I'm basically just going to put in bear, and then I'll find basically every single unit that I have customized. But I'm just going to show you a couple here just to show you that I kind of do understand what these things are now. So basically you could see, I mean, it's it's very self-explanatory now that I actually understand it. But beforehand I was like, okay, what what, what is this? You know, this is very, very simple to understand, but I'm generally, I, I, have, I have difficulties with that kind of thing. So I apologize for that. Anyway, as you can see, we're currently using a Thamaskeen Steel 2-hander with this particular unit. He's a tier 5. And then in his other weapon slots, he has a 100% chance to have a thrown weapon of some kind. And that's it. That's all he has. So that's that's pretty good in my opinion. Then you have these guys. Oh, this needs to change. What? Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, I apparently made a slight error here. So I guess I will... Uh, I did. I think I didn't actually change this guy. I just changed his name and that was it. But yeah, this is basically what you have to do because if you think of these weapon slots right here as the weapon slots in your actual inventory, then it makes a huge deal of sense because it's basically like weapon one. Oh, okay, what do you want to use? Well, you want to use this weapon, right? Well, it's the same thing if I go to my inventory right now it's the same thing with this, with these weapon slots right here. So, for example, I have this Norse hatchet right now. And if I want a 100% chance to use a Norse hatchet, then I'm going to put a Norse hatchet in every single one of those slots in weapon slot one. So if you are also someone that was a little bit confused by the My Little Warband uh, UI, which... Personally, I should have really realized what was going on there before, but thank you so much to those of you that helped me out because it was very helpful and you explained it very, very nicely and I was able to understand it much easier this time. But yes, anyway, hopefully I'll be able to get a two-handed uh, weapon of some kind quite soon and then we'll be able to have some fun with that. Anyway, we're just going to continue going in here versus these enemies. For some reason, I don't Everyone seem to be completing this task for some reason. I'm not... Oh, I can't access quests right now. Okay, well, never mind. Anyway, yeah, I can't access uh, the, the quest right now, but I am kind of a bit perplexed as to why we are not having the ability to complete this task. Oh yeah, dismembered. Get him. Yeah, there's another one. Come on, swing. Yes. 
Oh, I'm not fast enough. Ah, uh, no, I'm not fast enough. Oh, well. Oh, nice. Nice. We actually got a couple of them with our thrown weapons. Fantastic. That's actually unheard of. But yeah, it seems like most of my forces are actually doing relatively well now. Now that they actually have relatively decent equipment loadouts. Because beforehand, obviously, they were, well, partially running around with real, real bad ones. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, two parties. I guess I have to destroy them around the village. So I should probably just go back here. But I thought that uh, you wouldn't really need to as long as you just destroyed the ones with the blue exclamation marks. But maybe they've changed that. Anyway, as you can see, Duelist. 20% more damage while wielding one-handed weapon without a shield. Or increase your hit points by... By two. They still haven't changed this, eh? Yeah, they still haven't changed this. Okay, well, I was actually hoping, because I, I mentioned this multiple times. I mean, obviously, I don't think the developers actually watch this. You know, I mean, to be fair, why would they, right? But here's the thing. 2 HP is nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Although the 5% more experience after every battle, that's pretty good. I, I think that's pretty nice. But the 2 HP basically means nothing to me. Whereas 20% more damage... While wielding a one-handed weapon without a shield? I mean, yes. I'm going to take that every single day of the week in comparison to 2 HP. Anyway, slightly increases your persuasion chance or increases crafting uh, recovery rate. I don't care about that. So I'm going to increase my persuasion chance. I don't know why persuasion chance is in the athletic, uh, athletics tree. Why is that? That's kind of weird. Oh well, never mind. Let's go in versus nine bandits and we'll see what we can do. But uh, if you take a look down in the bottom right there, I do have a mod that is called Better HUD. And that basically allows me to have a readout as to how much HP I have in numbers. So you can see here I have 28 HP out of 112. Now, if you think about that, and you think about the fact that that skill was going to give me... Oh, I should have told my guys to charge in actually. Yeah, and you think about that skill that was going to give me 2 HP, well, then I would have 114 HP. If it would increase my HP by 5%, on the other hand, then I might be interested. But generally, yeah, that's not really going to work out too well. I don't want to die here. Nice. That's what you get. <laughs> oh, the slow-mo is so fun. I gotta say, I feel like the slow-mo is really, really cool. Because apart from the fact that the developers have obviously added in very dynamic ways for the enemy to perish. Because obviously it's not just canned animations where they just fall over in the same animation or, or a handful of animations. They're very dynamic in the way that they die. And the animation that plays is very much dependent on where you hit them and so on so that really makes a huge difference anyway i'm still not completing this for some reason two different parties of brigands and decided to hunt them down personally he will reward you with 550 gold i mean i'm not complaining because we are actually getting a significant amount of experience as a result of this but still it is a little bit a uh, little bit problematic potentially okay yeah so as you can see this guy He's using a bamboo handled axe in, in slot 1. And then in slot 2, he's using a bracketed heater shield. And then in slot 3 and 4, he's using fish harpoons. And that's basically it. So that's his loadout. That is 100% his loadout every single time he goes into battle. Same, t same thing with this guy. He's using bamboo axes. And then he's also using reinforced cavalry shield. These bamboo axes are actually any good? Are they actually any good? I have no idea. Maybe I should check that. Yeah, there it is. One-handed axe. Pretty decent. Not too bad. And there's the large shield and then throwing axes and so on. So yeah, that's working out really nicely too. And then obviously you have these guys, which are the noble bear quishes. I decided to actually change their name a little bit because let's face it, it was way too generic and way too, well, standard. So I decided, hey, you know what? Let's go for Noble Bear Kusher, because why not, right? <laughs> why not? And he's using a relatively similar loadout as well. And then we obviously have the Noble Bear Destroyer, who has a very similar loadout too. 
Noble Bear Maker. He's using a two-handed this time. So as you can see, he's using a two-handed axe right there. And he's also using broad blade javelins. And in weapon slot four, he has nothing because I actually want him to have nothing in, in the weapon slot four. And then we have Noble Super Bear, who's using an, an absolutely fantastic two-handed sword. And then he also has uh, two, uh, two throwing weapon javelin uh, type things going on with him. So he's obviously going to be very, very powerful if... Um, if he actually gets towards the enemy at any point. Okay, so let's attack these looters. There we go. Okay, am I actually going to even get an opportunity to complete this task? Because I'm now thinking to myself, are we actually going to? <laughs> are we actually going to complete this task ever? Because it feels to me like it's very um, very tricky to get that, get that done. I'm not entirely sure why that isn't working, but I, I guess I really shouldn't complain too much because it is... Absolutely fine. Oh, wow. These guys are looking pretty menacing with all their javelins on their backs. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, nice headshot right there from a berserker. Oh, nice headshot. Yeah, it seems like they've actually changed the icon for headshots as well, as you can see in the uh, top right there. I mean, basically, there wasn't uh, there wasn't an icon for headshots at all, but it's really nice that they have uh, individualized those. And look at look at how fast these guys are running. They're running really fast after these looters. It's really nice to see that actually. Come on, kill him, get him, get him. I was really wanting these guys to get into melee. You know what? Maybe what I should do is literally just tell my forces just to run in you know just to literally run in just forget the uh forget the thrown weapons and just go straight on in there and do as much damage as possible that would be pretty fun but yeah the task is still not completed maybe i can destroy these guys uh no justice demands you pay for your crimes and there we go okay so i did need to be in vicinity of the village that could be very exploitable do you, do, you, do you know do you know how that could be exploitable because obviously if we don't need to be near the village and this makes it a lot easier for me to get into combat with these brigands because obviously it's going to continually slow them down so that i can catch up to them over and over again i could theoretically fight bandits almost infinitely if I wanted to. So if you think about that, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, let's uh, recruit some troops here. I have 52 maximum capacity now. Do bear that in mind. All right, wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay, let's just recruit these guys. I have 4,000 gold. Might make sense for me to actually, well, sell a bunch of this stuff, of course. But it might make sense for me to wait here for some time, try to get to 100% HP. Bear in mind that I obviously would like to spec into medicine. Oh, I should probably do that right now. And let's spend a point in intelligence as well. And there we have it. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We're now level 7. And I'm thinking that I might make myself the surgeon. There we go. Okay, so now, obviously, us being the surgeon, that's going to make a pretty big difference to us gaining medicine, as you can see right there. Our medicine skill is increasing, but I'm not entirely sure how much that's really going to help, but hopefully it's going to help a small amount. Now, obviously, if we get into Razi here and we're able to uh, do the tournament, then we're going to gain even more cash, and then I might be able to spend it um, investing in uh, some workshop or another or something like that. And uh, someone did actually mention that the... Uh, the orders, you know, the orders that I showed in the previous episode where you can fulfill certain weapon orders for various NPCs in some towns. That is not necessarily balanced yet, and it's maybe not that lucrative in comparison to what you would expect it to be, considering you're spending quite a lot of resources for not too much, potentially. Anyway, it seems like the... <laughs> Hilariously enough... <sighs> The tournament ended, literally just now, so that's obviously great. Bear recruits. Okay, I don't think I've actually modified these guys. No, I think I, I did, yes. As you can see, I actually did that already. So they're using fish harpoons, highland daggers, and cavalry kite shields. So they should be absolutely fine. And then we obviously have the bear soldiers as well, which are using relatively similar stuff too. And we're basically just going with... Uh, basically what I've done, at least what I've tried to do, 
is make it that the lower tier units have shields, because of course they have the highest chance to die, and then the higher tier units don't. And they have two-handed swords and two-handed axes and so, uh, and so on. So that's going to be pretty fun, in my opinion. Okay, so what do you want? You want nine? Okay, sure. Don't I have nine? I have ten. Yes. Perfection. That's a thousand right there. Perfect. Let's recruit some more troops. Oh, I love that. I love the ability to be able to recruit troops from basically anywhere. It really makes a huge difference. Oh, is this guy going to tell me to take some horses? Ah, oh, no, you need some grain seeds, you absolute idiot. Oh, well, never mind. All right, yeah, I'm probably not going to be taking that quest because I don't have the grain seeds on me and I don't really want to run back here. Actually, you know what? Let me just go back real quick because I'm pretty sure they're going to have some horses for me that might be quite cheap. There's a horses, 230 each one. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And we do want to make sure that we are running at a pretty consistent speed, so why not? And what do we have here? Army of Poachers might be quite fun to do. So let's try to do that. Uh, yeah, what do you need? Go to Walters. Okay. Right. Where's that? Over there. Okay, let's go over there and see what we can do then. Okay, so we can either negotiate or we can fight them. Personally, I want to fight them because I personally really love fighting in this particular series. I don't know what it is about not having a shield or generally focusing on two-handed slash one-handed weapons and, you know, relatively fast movement speed. I mean, obviously my movement speed is not that great at the moment, but eventually it's going to be really fun. And I'm thinking... <sighs> what should I do, actually? Because they're using thrown weapons right now. Maybe what I should do is tell them to literally just hold fire. Hold arrows! I'm going to tell them to hold fire so that they switch to their melee weapons and then they just charge the opponent. Because these poachers are going to be very good at using their bows. And I'm hopeful that our uh, widespread use of shields is going to make a very big difference. As you can see right there, we are getting a couple of people getting killed right now, but that's not really going to make that much difference. I'm going to try and cut these guys off. Get him! Ah, I'm moving way too slowly. Oh, well, never mind. My forces were able to... <laughs> oh, dear. My forces were very easily able to do this. Okay, let me actually... Oh, can I not? Can I not command my forces now for some reason? Why can't I command my forces? Are you serious? Oh, it's because they, they're running away. Oh, well, never mind. I probably should have put them on uh, the ability to fire at will at the end there. That would have made more sense. But we do get a, a little bit of... Um, <laughs> a little bit of leather there, I guess. Which might be kind of useful i suppose what else do we have here you need grain seeds as well you absolute imbecile why do they all need grain seeds i have no idea oh well okay well i did do a t oh hello there you have a very large amount of looters thank you come on over come on down yes exactly okay so i am at full hp and now i'm actually wanting to do something here Soldiers, move! i'm going to tell them to hold fire once hold again fire! Because I want them to use their melee weapons. Let's actually just see whether everyone has melee. Yeah, seems to be working really nicely right now. Yeah, everyone has melee. Even the bear recruits are running around with daggers. I mean, these daggers are not going to be very good, but they, they do have insane attack speed. Which is exactly the reason why I wanted to go for them. And now hopefully my forces will be doing a relatively good job. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing that I'm looking for right there. The ability for us to go in and eliminate so many enemies that they don't even know what hit them. And then by the time they realize how many forces they've lost, it's too late. And we've already gained a, a bunch of their experience, which is, well, exactly the whole point. Anyway, there we go. Fantastic. So let's go into Hubyar now, because there does seem to be a tournament ready for us. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go and do that. And the prize is what? What is the prize? Please be a two-handed sword. Please be a two-handed sword. <gasps> it's a one-handed sword. This is going to be very, very useful for me. I, I actually really like scimitars, so I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, dear. Do you see why I'm saying oh, dear right now? There's a bear zerker, a bear tyrant, a noble bear kusher as well. Okay, yeah, that's going to be slightly slightly problematic. Not entirely sure. Thankfully, we're not having to worry about them in the first round, I don't think, because we're not against them. We are against a bear brute, however, which might be 
slightly, slightly bad, but we'll see. Okay, that was not bad at all. Axe is not bad, actually. You know, it's one of these times when I wish I either had the ability to use thrown weapons or... Ah, uh, ah, uh, hello there. Give me this. Yes. <laughs> I cannot believe that, literally. Almost had the ability. Oh, nice. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. He's not running. Nice, there we go. Whew. All right, so next round, and we are with a Berserker. Okay, fantastic. Hello there. I'm just going to follow you around then, sir. Okay, that was actually a little bit... <laughs> that was a little bit too close for my liking. But we are... Oh, wow. We are now through and I am up against an actual Berserker here. Obviously, these are not the noble units, so we shouldn't have too many difficulties, but... Oh, we actually have some javelins. Oh, interesting. This is bad for me because these guys are actually quite good at using their thrown weapons and I am not very good at all. That was a bit close. They only have four. Ow! Are you serious? Nice headshot. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news, bears. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. There we go. Nice hit, nice hit. Whew. Okay. And now we are up against... Oh. One of the highest tier units that I have available. A noble bear maker. All right, let's see. I have a thrown weapon. The, this guy has a thrown weapon as well, but he's going to be much better than the uh, Berserker at throwing them. Although, you wouldn't know it because he seems to be very inaccurate at the moment. Oh, he's, he's wily. <laughs> what? You're getting teabagged for that, sir. You were terrible. <laughs> what? Why was that? Uh, why did he just die? Like, what? I was expecting to get myself absolutely murdered, but he didn't even land one hit. Ah. Oh. oh, well, never mind. Not that I'm complaining, because obviously we gained a very nice weapon, decent amount of renown, and bear in mind that I do have the uh, duelist perk now, so I am gaining more renown as a result of that which is obviously fantastic and of course we have um you know the additional bonus of getting a huge amount of cash anyway let's have a look your shield takes 20 percent less damage while blocking the wrong direction okay and larger shield protection area against projectiles well obviously in my opinion that's better uh yeah We'll go with that. That sounds fun. Alright, so we got a bunch of units that need leveling up, as you can see right there. Another 280. We have five troops upgraded, and I'm hopeful that my bear recruits will actually continue leveling up rather than just perishing immediately. Anyway, I've taken this quest, which is the extortion, extortion by deserters quest. Now, <laughs> I don't know whether you can tell, but this might be a little bit close. This might be a little bit close. Okay, so Iron Scimitar, I'm going to actually be equipping that now because that is indeed 
much better than the Norse axe. And I think that is basically it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we are fighting in the village, I believe. Yes, we are fighting in the village, so that's not too bad. How many enemies do we have to fight? Oh, that's actually quite a lot. 32. Right. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this, but we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try our best. And I do have the new sword. So I would assume that I'm going to do a little bit better than uh, beforehand. And my forces do have a lot of thrown weapons available to them. So hopefully they're going to be able to use those to good effect. Especially considering all of the... What? They're, they're absolutely murdering them. The militia archers are absolutely murdering everything so far. Oh, I was really hoping that that amazingly cool jump down the cliff would have actually been close enough to one of them so that I could do like a drop attack on them. But no, <laughs> no such luck, of course. But we did end up achieving victory there. And I basically lost no one because the the allied forces were the main reason why we won that. They did such an exceptional job. I'm actually really surprised. I wouldn't have expected them to do so well, but they did. And they pretty obviously carried us to victory right there. Anyway, let's take a look at the armor. Anything good here? No, basically terrible, but I am going to be taking it all for selling. And now we can return to this guy. And I'm going to say 900 dinars. And you know what? I'm going to say keep your coin. Because I don't care about that one bit. All I care about is being able to recruit more units from your village. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go on to Kisira real quick. We're just going to recruit some more units. I'm basically just going to try and get as many forces as I can here as many really good units as possible. Try and level them up as much as I can too. And uh, continue to increase our relation with the various villages in the area too. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. And once again, thank you so much for your assistance with My Little Warband because you know me, I generally tend to get kind of confused about these kinds of things. About a lot of things. Especially staying on walls. And staying on walls and not falling off them. That is a big problem of mine. But anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.